Hey everyone, Niall Doherty here from $50blogs.net and today I'm going to show you how to hook up your WordPress site with FeedBurner, both RSS and email subscriptions. Now, if you don't know what FeedBurner is, basically it's a free service from Google that gives you more control over how people subscribe to your blog. The best part, I think, is that it offers email subscriptions and it has been shown over and over again by lots of different people and studies that email subscribers are the most valuable subscribers you can have. They're more likely to read and share your content and buy your products and services. Right, so let's get the $50 blogs demo blog located at demo.50blogs.net. Let's get that hooked up to FeedBurner. Uh, the first thing we need to do is find the native feed of the blog, which for WordPress sites is always located at slash feed, like this. Okay, so it's just a big jumble of stuff. Don't worry about that if you don't understand it. All we need is the URL. So we are going to copy that. And then we need to head on over to feedburner.com. Now, if you're not already logged into Google, you will have to do so to proceed. You'll see a, a screen like this first. Once you are logged in, you will see a screen like this. And we're going to paste in the URL that we just copied. I'm going to paste it into this box here and click Next. Now, on this next screen, we can change the name of the feed if we like, and we can change the FeedBurner URL for it. Note that the URL you choose here is the one you're going to be using and linking to going forward. So make sure you're happy with it now. And I'm just going to leave it as it is and I'm going to click on next. And we get the congrats screen. Let's hit next again. Now on this screen, I usually just check all the boxes and have FeedBurner track as much as possible because the statistics may come in handy later. So I'm going to click all those. One, two, three, and click next again. And okay, that's the basic feed setup. Uh, one other thing I like to do though is to hit the optimize tab right here, and then the smart feed option to decide, and just activate that to ensure maximum compatibility. Right, so now we have our RSS feed flowing through FeedBurner. If we click this little button up here, we can actually see what the feed burner version of the feed looks like. So not so much of a jumble of text anymore. Now the next step is to make the default feed on our WordPress site redirect to this new feed burner one. And we do this so any automated services that look for our blog's RSS feed will pick up the feed burner one and not the old native one that we can't track. Some WordPress themes will allow you to change that feed URL, the native feed URL, via a settings page. So you should check your theme's settings first to see if that is possible. The other option is to use a plugin. Uh, I recommend this plugin right here, the FD FeedBurner plugin. Uh, I have it already activated, actually, on the demo site right here. And if I go to the plugin settings, by going to settings, feed burner, you can see that I've already plugged in the URL of our new feed burner feed right there. And then you just click on save. And now when I try to load up the native RSS feed of the blog, that should redirect, we do a hard refresh, that should redirect to the feed burner feed for us and it does. So that is perfect. Okay, so the next step is to set up email subscriptions via FeedBurner. This is the cool part and it's actually pretty straightforward. We first need to go back to the FeedBurner settings page and we're going to hit the publicize tab in there and then we're going to click on email subscriptions here to the side. Now once in there we're just going to hit this activate button Okay, so that's active or activated. And now there's two ways you can actually have people subscribe to your blog via email. One is just by clicking on a simple link on your site, which takes them to a FeedBurner form to enter their email address. Uh, for that option, you'll just want to copy and paste 
uh, this subscription link code down here in the second box on this page. But we want to be a bit more fancy here and put a sign up form in our blog's sidebar. So to do that, we need to copy the form code here in the first box. So I'm going to highlight all of that and copy it. Once we have it copied, we need to go back to WordPress and we're going to head to the widgets control panel. So this is the widgets control panel on demo.50dollarblogs.net. In here, I'm going to grab a simple text widget and I'm going to drop it at the top of the widget area up here. Okay, so it's just dropped at the top of sidebar, main. You might have a different name, sidebar. Just drop it in the top of your main sidebar area there. And then we're going to paste in the code that we just copied, that form code. And we should add a title. We can say free email updates. And then we're going to hit the save button down here. Okay, so once that's saved, we need to go back and refresh our blog page, uh, which is back over here. Whoops, not over here. It is... I think we lost it. Let's go back and back and back. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so you can see now that uh, we have a little nice little sign up form here in the sidebar. But hey, let's get rid of this line here delivered by FeedBurner at the bottom. So we're going to go back to widgets and we can just delete this last line here before the closing form tag. And you know what? We'll also delete the default styling up at the top here. So it'll just look a little bit cleaner. So we're going to hit save again. And now if we go and refresh the blog page, we see that the form looks a nice, it looks a bit cleaner. It looks nice. I like that. Okay, so the next step would be to test it all out by entering your own email address there, hitting that subscribe button, making sure that it all works perfectly. But I'll leave that to your legendary self to play around with and make sure it's all okay. So once again, my name is Niall Doherty for $50 Blogs. Uh, check back next week for another helpful WordPress related tutorials uh, slash screencast dealio. And you can subscribe in the sidebar here at $50blogs.net slash blog uh, so you'll get a heads up on any special offers related to $50 blogs and also you'll get advanced notice of live support sessions where you can get all your blogging related problems solved and questions answered absolutely free.